No matter how many ever appetizer recipes I have in my book, I'm always falling short of them. I know another appetizer recipe, but trust me, it's super quick and easy, and you're gonna love it. Heat a little bit of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add garlic paste and some finely chopped celery. After that, saute the onions, capsicum, zucchini, baby corn, some boiled yellow corn. Just stir fry the vegetables quickly. And I'm also gonna tear in some basil leaves, salt to taste. Italian pizza seasoning, if you don't have that, you can always add some mixed herbs and also some chili flakes. Just mix everything properly and turn off the flame. This filling is ready and let it cool down completely. While the filling is cooling down, I'm gonna quickly make the dipping sauce for it. I have some mayonnaise over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup, Tabasco, just a few drops, very little garlic paste and mix it together. And the dipping sauce is ready. I'm going to use these samosa patties. They're easily available in the market, but if you don't find them, you can either use spring roll sheets or even wonton sheets. Just get them out of this bag. What I'm going to do is just make a marking, like fold it into half. Just cut it with the help of a pizza cutter. And now I'm going to fold it into half again and cut it again. So I have these small strips of the samosa patti. I've made some all-purpose flour paste over here and I've added just a little bit of water and this acts like a glue to stick the samosa patti. Now in every strip, I'm going to apply a little bit of this paste on the edges, on all the four sides. I'm just going to put like a teaspoon of the filling in the center and fold it into half. Press the edges and seal them properly. Remove the samosa patti out of the refrigerator just before using them, otherwise they're going to dry out. Make sure you press all the air out and don't fill too much of the filling. You can make these pockets earlier and half fry and keep them or just make it last minute, it'll take you a few minutes and fry them. Just press the edges once before adding it to the oil and fry every batch that you've sealed. Fry them till you get a nice golden brown color. Let's remove these, these are ready. Did you guys notice that I haven't named the recipe yet? That's because I want you guys to suggest a name. So post your suggestions in the comment section below and let's see who wins.